What's going on guys, it's David here. Um, I wanted to do a quick video unboxing. It's actually been a minute since I've done an unboxing, but um, I recently picked up the Haze Trainer, uh, which is Elijah Muhammad's uh, signature, I guess you could say, CrossFit shoe uh, through Strike Movement. Um, I've been pretty stoked on this shoe. I've been uh, pretty excited uh, when I heard that it came out and I thought I'd do a quick review for you guys that might be interested in this shoe. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, my name is David. I make videos on the world of CrossFit. Uh, maybe not so much as recent. Work's been pretty crazy. Uh, but uh, I'm in a new space. I'm in a new time zone. I'm in a new area of life. And so uh, we're gonna be hopping back into these videos. I'm gonna give you guys the content that you guys are looking for. So if you enjoyed today's video, let's just go ahead and go into it. Um, Without wasting any time, like I said, let's get into this. Um, so this is the Hayes Trainer. Uh, this is from Strike Movement. Um, I do wanna preface and say, first of all, obviously this isn't a sponsored video. So all of these thoughts <laughs> are my own. Uh, this is just me wanting to spend time reviewing things that I enjoy. Anyways, uh, long story short, I think I actually have a few other videos on this channel that talk a bit about my experience with Strike Movement. Um, in the past, I've had the transition as well as the um, chill pill, uh, both of which has fall, fallen apart on me. Um, I had to return the chill pill, I believe it was. Uh, no, no, I returned the transit, uh, which the seams on the, um, the sole of the shoe uh, basically fell apart between the midsole and the outsole. Um, and then the chill pill, the tread on the bottom basically fell apart. I say all that to say, be, like basically for me, I like the direction that the brand is going in. I like the things that they are offering. Um, my hesitation comes from uh, basically my experience with the actual products that they have. Um, uh, one thing to also note is that Strike Movement is a, a little bit more of a smaller brand when we're looking at uh, products uh, that are serving the market when you're looking at, let's say for example, uh, Reebok or Nike, who are um, brands that have been in the shoe game for a very long time. Strike Movement is a lot smaller. So um, unfortunately, they're not necessarily gonna have the same quality um, assurance that Nike or Reebok will have. That all out of the way, I really do like this shoe. Like I said, um, this is my third Strike Movement shoe, so I'm really looking forward to this. This is the Hayes Trainer. Um, from <coughs> Strike Movement. This is actually, I guess, um, the Elijah Muhammad colorway of the Haze Trainer. Uh, based off of my understanding of what the Haze Trainer is, um, it is just a train, their new training model basically that they have. And what they've been doing is, is creating different colorways for, or different uh, variation of the Haze Trainer for uh, different athletes. Um, so there's another athlete that, that has their own version of this shoe. Um, this shoe is very different. Um, if you're familiar with the CrossFit shoes uh, that Strike Movement puts out, um, this is the Transit. Uh, this is the shoe that I had that I mentioned. Uh, the soles fell apart. Um, they're not very, I guess you could say stable, uh, to be quite honest, but they look fairly similar in regards to just overall silhouette um, that's going on here. Um, this one is a little bit more of like a Vans era shoe, whereas this one is a little bit more of a athletic trainer style um, variation to this shoe. Um, but overall, I mean, this shoe is, um, I would say in regards to simplicity, in regards to design of what I kind of uh, look for in a versatile shoe when it comes to CrossFit, I think this kind of really hits all the marks. Um, the question really comes down to functionality and quality. We are just gonna get to the uh, upper here on this shoe. Um, this shoe's a very simple, uh, simplistic sort of design here. Um, it's almost, I, I, I want, it's not necessarily a one piece upper, but the entire upper is made out of 3D printed jacquard. Um, jacquard or jacquard is basically a woven uh, fabric. Any fabric can be woven using jacquard knit. Um, the only thing I will say though is that um, on the Strike Movement website, they don't actually say what material is used. So it's not 100% clear if this material is, um, you know, any sort of fabric or um, material that can withstand 
um, uh, wet conditions, uh, which is something that immediately when I look at this shoe, I'm a little concerned about. Um, the shoe is very porous. Um, it does have a lot of holes, so it's gonna be very breathable. Um, it's gonna be a shoe that you can wear, um, I would assume in the summertime when it's really, really hot outside, you're not really gonna be having to worry about your foot overheating too much. Um, when I'm looking at this shoe, again, I wanna say I haven't even worn this shoe. I basically took it out of the box um, and just doing this video, but a um, lot of preparation here. Um, the other thing with this shoe that you got going on here, you get uh, these flat laces that come already um, added onto the shoe. And then you also get these round laces as well, um, added, included. Uh, so you have two different options here. If you wanna go up for the black on black, uh, you got that option. Or if you wanna go for the white on black, you have that option as well. Um, all around the shoe, it's very minimal in regards to um, the design approach, but you do have the Elijah Muhammad uh, logos uh, on the shoe because this is his, I guess you could say, signature um, colorway or, or model um, of the Hayes trainer. Um, with the tongue here, you do have a stash pocket. Uh, so if you'd like to stash your laces, you could do that on these shoes. Um, you also have uh, the pull tab in the back so that you can get your um, uh, foot in the shoe when you're putting it on. Um, but it's a very minimalistic approach here. Um, there's shields on the eyelids. That's not really something that I would say is necessary. To be quite honest, I could care less for it because there's not really a whole lot of scenarios where I would be worried about my shoelaces getting um, destroyed for whatever reason. Um, so that's something that might be a little excessive. But um, outside of that, it's a very uh, minimalistic shoe. Um, minimalistic design, minimalistic approach when it comes to the upper. Um, and uh, we'll move on to some of the other points. We have the midsole and the outsole. Um, if you're looking at this shoe and you're looking at the Transit, which is um, the other shoe that Strike Movement per, um, uh, makes, manufactures, uh, both of these shoes have very similar, I would say, outsoles um, or construction on the outsole. Uh, the Transit uses the cross-platform 1.0 um, uh, outsole and midsole. The Hayes Trainer uses the cross-platform 2.0 outsole and midsole. Um, it's a medium density sole, uh, so there's gonna be some flexibility to it, but it's gonna stay pretty rigid. Um, I would assume, ideally, this is probably gonna be a better shoe for lifting in, especially when you factor in the um, heel, the heel to toe um, drop difference between the Transit versus the Hayes Trainer. The Hayes Trainer has a 3.9 uh, millimeter heel to toe drop, whereas the uh, Transit has a 2.5 uh, or 2.9 uh, heel to toe drop. So the, the Transit is going to be a little bit more of a flat foot um, or more minimal uh, type shoe, whereas the Hayes Trainer is going to be a little bit more similar to maybe other types of uh, CrossFit shoes that are out there. Um, but as far as the general construction goes, um, based off of what they list on the website, it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same shoe, to be quite honest, when we're looking at the outsole and the midsole. Um, the only difference I would guess uh, to I would point out is that uh, strike movement actually rates these shoes less uh, as good for travel as opposed to the Transit, which are supposed to be better for travel. Um, so for whatever that's worth, um, I don't think that's really a big thing. I mean, for me, when I wear my CrossFit shoes, I'm only really wearing them at the gym. I'm not wearing them around town. Although I do think it's important that when you are wearing a CrossFit shoe, you know, I want my CrossFit shoes to look good. I don't want my CrossFit shoes to look ugly. Um, I mean, if we're talking about shoes that have been coming out recently, um, the Nike Metcon 7s, they're not really my, my favorite sort of shoe when it comes to design. But in terms of functionality, I'm sure it functions great. These ones, on the other hand, might not be super high on the functionality standpoint when we're looking at types of trainers. This is obviously definitely a little bit more of a minimal trainer. Uh, whereas 
um, you know, the, the design elements here are very, very, very minimal, uh, very straightforward. And that's the biggest thing that I get with this shoe. Um, even the uh, design on the midsole and outsole, um, I love the uh, different pattern, the tread patterns that Strike Mate Movement uses on these. Um, and again, it's not any different than what is on the Transit when we're looking at the two different types of um, outsoles. So um, these should feel fairly similar uh, if you've had other types of cross-platform uh, Strike Movement shoes. Um, and uh, that's basically what you've got going here for the outsole, midsole, and the upper of the shoe. Uh, to be quite honest, um, with regards to when we're looking at the price here, I think I, I want to say I paid $150 uh, for these Elijah Muhammad shoes. Um, I'm not sure, quite honestly, if they were worth the price, to be quite honest, since it's, it is his signature colorway and it is his, um, I guess you, if, if we want to say design. Um, however, the Hayes Trainer is already an existing shoe that was created that's just basically being applied to um, the, or getting the Elijah Muhammad design treatment. But I'm stoked that the dude's getting his own shoe. He's one of my favorite CrossFitters. So, um, you know, be that what it may. Um, but, I mean, overall, first impressions and opinions. Again, like I said, I really like this. My biggest concern at the end of the day is the integrity of the outsole and the midsole. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I have had two other or three other pairs technically of strike movement shoes and the soles have not really held together very well. So I'm curious to see how the soles on these um, work as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a post training review video for these um, over the next week. I'm going to be wearing these. Um, inside of the gym, outside of the gym, as well as doing my only lift training in these, as well as doing CrossFit classes in these. And I'll come back and give you guys a full synopsis on this shoe in regards to what I like, what I don't like, um, and if you should waste your money on this shoe. But as always, as I said in any of my videos, I think you should definitely make sure that you try things out for yourself and see what works. I'm just providing my opinion and, and my perspective on these shoes. Um, again, be that what it may be. Um, but at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave those questions down below. And uh, outside of that, guys, as always, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.